Good evening, everybody. I'm sitting here with a cup of coffee and a cup my sister gave me for my birthday. I just love it. It's a good morning, handsome. You know, one thing about God, he loves us so much that even a cup of coffee in your own private mug is good for you sometimes. But you know one thing, nothing takes the place of God's word. When you get God's word in your spirit, his word would be just as satisfying as a cup of coffee. Amen, amen, amen. In Jeremiah chapter 1. And it says, verse 5, Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. It says, verse 4, Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee to be a prophet unto the nations. Then I said, I, our Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee. And whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. That is so awesome. That it is powerful word from the Lord. God bless you, because of Cousin Kenny, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. It is so amazing how God, he had a plan, he had a purpose, he had a will established for the prophet Jeremiah. Before he's even born in the womb, God says, I formed thee. And it's amazing how God forms our spirit every day to become more and more like him in our lives to exemplify his glory and his presence in us as we learn how to yield, surrender, and lease ourselves into the will, the plan that God has for our life. You know, I, I thank God for his grace and mercy that has brought us this far by faith. And because of the goodness of God, all he's looking for is a willing vessel. Jeremiah, in verse 7, said, he said, The Lord said to me, Say not, I am a child. He had an excuse. A reason why he couldn't be sent to the nation to speak the word of God. But God still had a plan. And he says, verse 9, actually verse uh, 8, says, Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, says the Lord. Isn't that amazing? Even in our excuses, when God gives you an assignment, it's not good enough. God still has a remedy even when we come with our, our list of agendas and reasons why not to obey God's word. God has a remedy that he already set in motion that he's going to establish in your life. A lot of times when God is trying to take us to a certain place and, and a, a certain plateau in our lives, we hinder ourselves by ear gates, by the words we speak, allow others to speak unto us and we hinder ourselves from doubting God's word because when we doubt God's word we're telling God I don't trust you but if you trust God enough who wakes you up early in the morning who starts you on your way who put his spirit inside of you which is the Holy Spirit to lead God and direct you in the way of truth and righteousness it's a guarantee that God already know the distractions he knows the issues we're going to be faced with. He knows the attacks the enemy is going to bring against you. But also, his stern word he gave Jeremiah in verse 8, he said, Be not afraid of their faces. When you walk boldly in the promise that God has for you, that's right, the blessings. The blessings and the favor of God will reign upon your life and God's promises will be fulfilled in your life because of your obedience. He said, be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee. To do what? Deliver thee, says the Lord. You know what? When I, I looked at the scripture many times over and over and over. And it finally dawned on me that when God told Jeremiah, he says, be not afraid of the faces of the people, right? He says, I will 
deliver thee. Deliver you from what? Deliver you from your apprehensions. Deliver you from your unbelief. Deliver you from your own self self-righteousness. Deliver you from doubting God's ability to carry and lead, guide and direct you in the promise he has for your life. Deliver you from your resistance. Deliver you from your strongholds. Deliver you from your habits and, and things that hinder you from fulfilling the call that God has on your life. God promises that he will deliver you and set you free. So I was just sitting here and it just came in my spirit to come on live this evening to encourage somebody along their journey today that no matter what you go through in life, God says, I ordained you. That means God says it's approval on your life. Doesn't matter how you may feel about it yourself or what other people think about you. You are a successor. You are a person of purpose. You're a person of value in the eyes of God. And God promises everything he has for your life, he will fulfill according to his word and his promise he has spoken to you. So you stay encouraged because just like God told Jeremiah, I am with thee. If God is with you, it's a guarantee. He, he trumps anything that's trying to come against you. He overpowers the powers of the enemy that tries to rise against you to stop you in your tracks. And all you got to do is keep standing on your own stern conviction on the word that God has given to you and spoken to you. Your blessings will be released. The promises will manifest and the favor will follow you everywhere you go. You'll find yourself finding favor with God and with man. And whatever you believe in God to do in your life, that he would do according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And all you have to do is keep on believing against the shadow of doubt that hope against hope with confidence and boldness that no matter what comes against me, I'm going to put on the full armor of God to stand stern in my faith and my belief in my God because I've seen him do many things in my life and it's a guarantee he will continue to keep on manifesting himself in my life to fulfill his promises for me. And then he said, verse 9, Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. You know why? Because he had to put the anointing in his voice. When God touched his mouth, God had to release the word, the anointing in his mouth to speak what he has commanded him to speak. And he said, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. So God has placed his word in your mouth, my brother, my sister. It said, Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. It said, The word of faith that we preach is the word that in our mouth that we are to stand on every day to proclaim to the people who are bound, those who are, are, are lost, those who are in spiritual prisons. He said, the word is not even in our mouth, the word of faith that we preach. Why? Because God put his word in your mouth when you gave your life to Jesus Christ. And because of the goodness of God, it doesn't matter how you feel sometimes. Trust me, I don't feel like preaching all the time. I don't feel like praising all the time. I don't feel like worshiping all the time. I have moments of despair. Moments of, of just wanting to give up. Moments of just wanting to say, you know what, what's the use? Why I keep trying it? Seems like things keep messing up in my life. I keep making the same mistakes. But God is not basing his word on your condition. His word is based on your obedience. You hear what I just said? His word is not based on your disobedience and your mistakes, your failures, your shortcomings. His word is predicated on your obedience. God's word will manifest in your life through your obedience. So when you walk in the word, stand in the word, believe the word, get the word inside of you and allow the word to manifest in your children, your children's children, your parents, everyone you come in contact with. The word of God will manifest in their lives through your obedience. 
So I hope someone be encouraged this evening. Keep standing on the word of God. No matter how many challenges and trials and tests you encounter, put on the full arm of God and I guarantee you will stand against the wiles of the devil. So Lord God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this word today, oh God. I pray that this word penetrate the core of all of our hearts and those who hear this word today, Father God, to cause them to evaluate, reevaluate themselves to see what in their life they need to be delivered from. What is it they're fearing? What is it that's hindering them from walking in obedience to your word? As you put your word in our mouth, the word of faith we preach, the word is nigh us in our hearts. Let the word begin to manifest in all of our lives to bring a change in our thought life and our actions and our, our lifestyles we live that will cause it to be conducive to following in obedience to your commands and your laws and decrees. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen, amen. You all stay encouraged on the day. I just felt like doing it at this moment. Been sitting here for the last few hours just meditating and listening to some worship music and just allowing the Spirit of God to minister to my heart. And I felt sternly in my heart, I needed to share this word. Because somebody needs to be encouraged on today. That no matter what you're going through, God's got you. He's on your side. He's working things out in your favor. The devil's defeated. God is exalted. And guess what? Jesus is Lord if you let him come into your life to be your Lord. So until next time, know that God loves you. And I love you, and it's not a thing you can do about it. Amen. Shalom. May the peace of God abide in your hearts and provide everything you need by faith in Jesus' name. God bless you.